guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about a recent surgery complication, so to speak, that Donut experienced. So some of you might know Donut here, which is this Black Berkshire rat. She had three mammary tumors removed around three weeks ago, and her recovery went really well overall. Uh, obviously, she's still growing back fur, but her incisions are all healed. However, about a week ago, I noticed something very concerning, and that's that she had developed a huge lump right here. Here. So I'm going to show you some footage of it because I did take some videos and some pictures as well uh, But basically it came up overnight I mean it was not there one day and the next day there was a huge lump like really large uh, Just sitting there right next to where one of her incisions had been So of course because of the location my first thought was okay It has to be something to do with the surgery recovery uh, And I thought that maybe it was an abscess because abscesses can come on really quickly and they can sometimes also grow really large and fill with pus very quickly but I just didn't think it was an abscess because it felt super strange it felt kind of like if you take an airbag or if you take like a fluid filled pouch of sorts um, and I thought that it just didn't feel like an abscess because the thing is with rats they tend to have this really cheesy pus and I know that is a really gross image but typically their pus is not like super liquidy um, again sorry for the imagery but I just say this because my own experience with rat abscesses has been that they're always just filled with this cheesy pus that feels like substantial instead of liquidy so I didn't think it was an abscess because it just didn't feel like any abscess I've ever felt but Donut herself was not bothered at all uh, it was not impacting her life in any way and so because of that and because it was also the middle of the night and my emergency vets are unfortunately kind of useless when it comes to rats I decided to go ahead and post on a rat medical page called real rat lovers want to know and I will link them down below because they are super helpful with things like dosages, uh, helping you find vets, uh, helping you determine if an issue needs a vet or not, helping you treat it at home if you can't get to the vet for whatever reason, uh, and so forth. And I know the whole thing about Facebook and how people tend to post uh, medical things on there that really shouldn't be posted on Facebook and should be seen by a doctor or a vet. But in this case, it really did feel applicable because, well, the situation just kind of wasn't an emergency, but it also wasn't something where I felt comfortable just waiting. Now, the nice thing about this page is that while anyone can post a question, the only people who can answer are approved members, and all approved members are either vets, vet techs, super experienced rat owners, I'm talking like hundreds of rats, experienced rat breeders, basically just people who have dealt with hundreds or thousands of rat problems, and so are very experienced and good at just kind of eyeing things and knowing what it is uh, based on their own experience. So anyways, when I asked on this page, they immediately identified the lump as a seroma, which is basically when you have fluid that pools under the skin. It's pretty common after a surgery, and it's usually near the incision site. And personally, I have never experienced this in my rats, so it was a little bit concerning for me to see this lump because I just didn't know what it was. Um, but yeah, when they identified it as a seroma, I immediately did some research on that for myself. And yeah, indeed, it did seem to be a seroma. Uh, and these typically take a few days to a few weeks to dissipate. Basically, the fluid is just reabsorbed into the body, and you don't tend to need to get any sort of vet intervention. Now, typically, the only time you need to get vet intervention if you see a seroma pop up on your rat post-surgery is if the rat is clearly in pain or uncomfortable due to the seroma, or if it gets infected. Now, don't did have a little bit of pus around a little hole on it so I thought that maybe it was an abscess because of this um, but overall there was not enough pus to really worry about it and Donut clearly was not in pain she was acting completely normal in fact she was pretty pissed with me because I interrupted our training session because that is actually when I noticed it and so she really just wanted to get back to training and getting treats so she was not super pleased with the interruption for me to video this lump uh, but anyways, overall, she was really not bothered by it at all, and after a few days, it did indeed dissipate all on its own. But yeah, overall, it wasn't anything to really be concerned about. So yeah, Donut didn't have to go back to the vet for this weird lump, but I thought I'd share it with you because I have never experienced that with my rats, and I'm sure that other people have not experienced it as well. So I thought it would just be kind of some useful information because seromas are apparently pretty common after surgeries. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, the lump is completely gone. It's been 
been about a week since I initially took the video I will have shown you with the lump. So it was a very quick process. It was not really around for a long time. I just was freaked out for kind of no reason, but I think it's understandable considering, well, that a giant lump popped up out of nowhere. So yeah, I am pretty happy with the outcome because it didn't need any sort of intervention. Uh, and I just thought I'd go ahead and tell you guys about it just so you don't end up in the same situation. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you have a good day. Bye.